Hello, good morning, happy Sunday. Today I have got a card that says it's a Titan, but really it's not. This piece of silicon right here is a CMP 100-200. We looked at the CMP 100-210 last time. That was a passively cooled card based off the Tesla V100. This is an actively cooled card based on the Titan V, which is why it shares the same cooler with the Titan V. This thing, as far as I can tell, is not cut down at all. It's just a BIOS flashed Titan V. So what that means is 3072 bit bus wide of HBM2. Uh, I do believe this is on a slightly larger process node, but I can't actually confirm that. This may be 12 nanometer still. And it does have a slightly more cut down core. In addition to having regular old GPU power connectors, an eight plus a six here, versus an 8-pin EPS over on this side. So the actual PCB is the same size, but the layout is different. There is a display port here, but I believe it is dead and only in place to support the PCI bracket. So enough about that. Let's look at its performance. I've got the sheet right here. And like always with these cards, we'll start bottom up. So Prog Pow, Kapow, the performance is still very good. It's not as good as the 210, the TF500. But the PG250 here, which is what I call it, which is pretty good, 250, still does almost 49 mega hash at 222 watts for a hard efficiency of 0.219, which is excellent. Pigeon, the hash rate's pretty good, especially for the price and the class of card. And the efficiency I'm going to mark as orange, but really this is among the best efficiency we see on any GPU. I really don't remember where I got that 0.250 efficiency from, but that's hard to hit. ETC hash, really impressive. This is, in essence, a CMP70HX, as I understand it, so 76.17 mega hash does make sense. And we're doing almost 0.6 efficiency at 128 watts, which is insanely good. So these are ETH hash monsters. Ergo, the hash rate is not as good as I was expecting. It's usually more than double what the ETH hash is, but not here. However, the efficiency is tremendous. So we're getting 148 mega hash at 111 watts. Carlson, these really, again, are not great core cards, so we're doing 814.8 mega hash, and the efficiency, unfortunately, falls short of our 8 requirement. Um, at these clocks, you can get it above 8.2 on Radiant, though. <laughs> unfortunately, Radiant, the, uh, the threshold jumps from 8 to 10, so still not great. 1.2 giga hash is about what you get out of a 2080 Ti, so the hash rate is there. It's just not efficient doing it. Same thing with Ironfish. 150 is our cutoff, 115, that's what we're getting here, but 13.6 giga hash on a single older card is still quite impressive. Kyla coin efficiency is pretty bad, we'd like to see 8 or 9 on efficiency, we're almost at 6. Alephium 2.2 giga hash, 10.5 for efficiency, looks like we actually got up to 11.88, but that was cutting the hash rate quite a bit. And again, 12 is the bare minimum for good, in my opinion. So, not a great Alephium card. Excuse me. Dynex, we got excellent efficiency. This might be slightly better efficiency-wise than the 210. 60.56 was our efficiency. We did 3.2 kilohash, looks like, at 53 watts. Or, if you go balls to the wall, it's 4.5 kilohash for 47 efficiency, 97 watts, which is still pretty good. Uh, Nexa, the hash rate's quite good. We're getting 3080 level hash rates here. And the efficiency, if you step it down just a little bit to 92 mega hash, uh, steps all the way up to 0.57. So again, 0.55 is kind of the cutoff for Nexa. It's definitely good. Flux, again, the hash rates look a lot like a 2080 Ti or a 3080. We're getting anywhere from 80 to 93 souls, and if you step it down to 84 souls, you can get up to 0.5715 efficiency. Even more impressive. This I'd like to see over 0.5 typically, and that's way above and beyond. So uh, I would say these things are excellent for memory hard or Equihash, uh, Nexapow, Dynex. Just I would avoid probably core algorithms with them. They're not awful at it. But really, you're much better off getting like a CMP50HX, in my opinion, for core algos, and leaving these at what they're good at, which is anything that leverages memory operation. So that, in a nutshell, is the CMP100-200 slash Titan V-ish slash CMP70HX. I'm guessing they're all very, very similar. I am waiting for a BIOS flash for this. Hopefully, though, 
I would like to flash this to the Titan V BIOS to unlock the rest of the VRAM. Right now these are soft limited to 6 gigabytes of the 12 that's actually there, and we cannot mine Cortex or Conflux right now with this card because of that. So I will keep on that into the future. Maybe we'll retest. I will retest this with Meow Pow and Fish Hash in the future. But thank you for watching, at least as it stands right now.